Hello, delivery drivers. It's 9.55 in the morning right now. Got myself some Red Bulls. I do have to clean this car out and go ahead and top off the tank because, you know, this is a rental car. And today I do have to rent, return it in the next hour here. And I'm going to rent out another one. It's cool. I've been getting this car for about $194 a week. And I know to some people that might sound like a lot of money at the end of the month. Oh, my God, you're almost paying $800. But guess what? The average car payment for America right now is $750. And people are putting those on three-year to five-year leases and they're paying that every single month which I think is ridiculous because in three to five years your car is going to be junk and trash with the low quality of these builds. My Malibu that I had from 2011 all of the interior the pieces the plastics the steering wheel were all so much of a higher quality grade than what I'm seeing in this car but hey you know it's just what America does they got to make their money and they got to gouge the uh, general public right now it is what it is kind of deal. I'm gonna go through the car wash here too. This, this gas station is pretty cool. They got a attached car wash right there. I'm gonna go through, vacuum it out, clean it up, present it very nice once I return it, and I most likely will get this one again. Hey, I only had to put 1843 into this tank here to top it off. Nice. All right. I did pay cash for that gas right there, so I got to get the change from the $20 bill that I gave him. Working at the car wash, yeah. All right, let's get this thing nice and shiny get it back to Hertz. I'm most likely going to get this car right back unless they want to swap me into a different Malibu or a different vehicle. I really won't know until I get there. I got to get there by 11 o'clock and it's 10.01 right now. All done getting my Hertz rental uh, extended out maybe you could say. I don't know. I closed out the contract and I opened up a new contract and here's the prices guys so you can see what's going on. Final total right there $212.68 and I rented it for one week. I got it for $159.34 a week add the taxes on there and bada bing bada boom and now the next rental this one estimated charges for the week is going to be 202 dollars and 26 cents easy peasy one more week out there so if you guys don't want to drive your car you don't want to degrade your car you don't want to do the wear and tear and all of the fear mongering that goes on out there on the internet about driving your personal car for a gig uh industry hey hertz lets you rent cars for literally dirt cheap if you guys are out there hustling it, you should be able to make $200 plus in a day, and you should be able to pay for your rental and make additional money throughout the week. Also, and that's what I'm doing, and hopefully I can inspire some people that maybe are on the last leg of their car because it's starting to break down like mine was, and this can be another option for you guys so you don't have to go out and buy a car at a high rate right now with the way that, you know, the uh, dealerships are gouging everybody and the, the high prices of everything and being stuck into a car for three to five years and in three to five years your car will be a piece of shit at that point no one's going to want to buy it there'll be no equity in it and you're stuck in the same position of having something that's falling apart and now you've got to get another one and you're just playing the same karmic loop of just a bullshit ass car i don't want to do that so that's why this entire year i'm planning on renting and i'm in a brand new car literally every single day this car only has 3896 miles on it yeah let's go all right, so after I did the whole little car rental, I went back to my house, made some burgers and shit, and it's uh, it's like two o'clock in the afternoon, like that 152. We got a nice little uh, $8.50 from the taco butthole right here. We'll drive for like the next seven to eight hours. I'm just going for a hundred bucks. I'm not gonna try and stress myself today. This order is a do not knock, do not ring. Taco Bell going to the door, and that's what I got paid for dropping off this little order. Nice. Right after that drop, I got a Vons Shop and Pay for $14.25 to pick up seven items. So let's shoot over there real quick, do a little bit of Shop and Pay and go drop this off. It is going to an apartment, you know. I get all the torture apartment ones, it's, it's kind of crazy. It took me four minutes and 22 seconds to get to this last item right here. I was just talking about Texas toast the other day, but this garlic bread too, even the Pepper Ridge Farm one, is super dank. All right, let's go drop this off, go make our 14 something bucks. I have made it to the customer's apartment and I've just got to go through this little gate. Oh, there's a little mini gate right there and then go hand it to the customer. But top right here, she got paid a $14.25 for this quick little run. Right on to an Albertsons shop and pay is what I'm doing. This one's going to pay us 11 bucks. I got to grab one more item, which is just like a, a big block of cheese. And then they did want cheesecake, but they don't have any cheesecake available. So I text the customer and say, hey, you know, do you want a different option, some kind of cake or just cancel it? So we'll figure that out in just a moment here. Oh, epic. I went and asked the person that works, you know, behind the counter here for the regular cakes. And they had one of these swirl ones, which was a, a substitute that the customer wanted. So still was able to get them their cheesecake. And I got the little thing of cheese. Let's go make the money. 
and only nine minutes and 58 seconds to grab all of these items, but it is busy, batshit crazy in here right now. As you can see, there's so many people, bunch of traffic on the road also. This might take a minute to check this out. Oh, I got lucky on that one. I walked up to all of everybody standing in line and the new cashier opened up a line and I was one of the first people to go over to it and get checked out. So it took me no more than like a minute and a half after that last clip to get checked out. Awesome. Finalizing the Albertsons drop to these customers home right here. They got one of those nice little signs here of like don't knock, don't solicit. Good thing I can't ring English. All right, right back to Albertsons here for another shop and pay. I actually have a double. I've never had this happen. It's an Albertsons order and it's a Dash Mart order going to the same customer's home. And it said it's going to pay $17.50 for like 3.2 miles. So that's not too bad between going to two different locations and dropping off to the customer's home. So I was supposed to get some meat that I wasn't able to get. I sent her some pictures and maybe she'll give me a message back before I can hit this checkout lane. And if not, I'm not going to be able to get her any substitutes for the meat that she chose. Out of the whole time this place has been here, I've never accepted one order or ever been to this place because any order I've ever seen come out of Dash Mart has always been a poverty order, like two or three dollars. And it's kind of ironic that this is stacked on a good paying order. Well, maybe not. $17.50 for both. See what happens here. I have my Cash Mart order in the car right now, and we're gonna go rip over to the customer's house and go drop off both of these orders. That was cool, I just met another uh, Dasher in Dash Mart and kind of just had a little conversation with him on what's going on, and he's noticed a big difference in the system also, but he isn't so much into all of the programs and everything, and I was just kind of explaining it to him, and he was like, wow, man, it's really cool. So, you know, I hope that he gets some good advice from that, and he's able to pick up some nice clean orders. The customer is requesting you leave it at the door, so that's what we're gonna go do. Oops, didn't mean that. That's call over. So let's go drop all of this at the front door real quick, both orders, and this is the final payment for dropping off this order to this customer. Not bad, right? Cafe Zupa's next little Subaru right here. This one's gonna pay us $11 to grab this one. Well, that was nice. It was ready when I walked in. Oh, and I don't remember if I mentioned, yeah, I just got the same Malibu back again. They just re-rented it right back out to me. Cafe Zupa is coming to the door right here, and it shows a little picture of the last person that dropped off, right? And the last person set the food right at the screen door. Like, how is he supposed to open his door, right? It says, uh, do not knock, do not ring, just send him a picture. Thank you. I've heard of this place, but I've never been to this place. Jolly Bee. You guys ever been there? It's, uh, what is it? Chicken, burgers, and pies. We're gonna get a double here. It's gonna pay $20.50. We gotta pick up this one, and then another location, and go into the same customer's house. Hello, my name is Jollibee. From being in there, it just looks like a it looks like a KFC to me. This order is a very interesting order. Complete trash order, uh, $20.50. I didn't tell you the miles because the miles is the, the worst part. 15 something miles, right? But the reason why I took it is because I'm only going for 100 bucks today. And I was talking to the customer and I asked the customer, I said, or she sent me a message saying, hey, don't drop off at the wrong house. Everybody drops off at the wrong house. And I'm like, I send her back a message. Be like, hey, you know what? I'm pro. You're in some good hands right here. And then I asked her, hey, can you see my customer rating? And she's like, yeah. And I says, and I asked her, do you normally get customer rate or dashers with as high customer ratings as I do? And she says, no, I normally always get bad drivers. That's why I sent you that message so that my order comes to my front door and not my neighbors because that's where they keep dropping it off. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty funny. So you can see DoorDash right here. And somebody told me this just the other day and it made a lot of sense that DoorDash is catering to um, the lower income customers right now by giving them the higher tier drivers so that the lower that the lower income, oh, I don't want to call it lower income. I'm using the bad, I'm using the wrong words right there. Um, I retract those. That the lower paying offered customers were generally getting a lower quality experience because a lower quality dasher would be facilitating that specific type of offer right and she's ran into that plenty of times and right now she's just like wow i can't believe that you sent me pictures because i had to get different soup right here so i sent her pictures of the menu i even said all of the things i told her you know what's going on and she's just like i've never seen this quality of service ever from a dasher and it's like i know i'm fucking pro at what i do and that's why i should be taking the highest paying offers and not these bullshit ass ones all right i digress and looking at the address at this place too i don't know how people make the mistake there's literally just like big numbers one two three four showing you which direction to walk because like how do well i know shitty drivers do shitty things negative people get negative results positive people positive shit happens this is what i got final total dropping off this order I'm gonna guess, I don't know, I'm crossing my fingers, maybe she'll add an additional tip because I was so nice to her. Eh. After dropping off that order to that lady's house, I am sitting at $82 for this, you know, day's shift or whatnot, and I just got a $6 Marco's Pizza on a Friday night, 
So this should be a nice little torture order to go get some Marcos. Hopefully it's not busy in there and we can drop this one off real quick. It's pizza, wings, and like a root beer. That pizza was ready when I walked in. And hey, it was nice to meet you, Tanya, at the uh, Marcos Pizza there. And this is a hand to me customer, so I'm gonna go ahead and ring the doorbell right here. Quick little six fifty right there. Now we're gonna head right over to Sprouts to pick up five items for eight dollars and twenty five cents. Two minutes and twenty six seconds. Have you guys ever had these? I'm sure. Oh jeez, I'm sure a lot of you have had these, but these are so freaking good. I can eat an entire bag of these in one sitting. Sprouts Marketplace coming to your front door <laughs> in probably like 15 minutes since you ordered it. Awesome. Enjoy. The saving grace of the red card. I had to pick up uh, three items when I accepted this, or sorry, two items when I accepted this. All they got was batteries and the dog food right there. And then as I was headed here, or when I opened up the app to start shopping, it said they added three additional items. It said for $7.75. So we'll see if each item is 25 cents additional. It's this bread right here. And then, uh, oh man, that was a big line over here. I gotta get some uh, fried chicken and some potato wedges from this little department right here. And we'll see if it turns into $8.50 once it's done. Oh, it took a while to get those wings from the, or no, the chicken from the Albertsons there because there's like six people standing in line and they're doing like a crazy cheap wing Friday or cheap chicken Friday is what they call it. You can get like eight pieces of wings, eight wings, <laughs> I keep calling wings, eight chicken pieces for six bucks. All right, enjoy, thank you. It is 25 cents per additional item. I got $8.50 for dropping it off. I accepted a $7.75 and they added three items. So it makes me almost want to exploit the system and go order one item and then add on 97 items and make DoorDash pay for it. <laughs> After dropping off that order, that puts me at $106.46. I don't remember what time I went out here. I think I came out here at like 2.30 or so and you can see it's 7.30. So in five hours, I made that 106 bucks, like 20, $21 an hour real time. Active time, obviously it's gonna be a little bit different there. You know, that was my goal for today. I'm still glad that I hit it. It's not too bad. I'm getting a little bit hungry here. So I think I'm gonna head over to some uh, Tel Paco, which is Del Taco. And we're gonna pick up some, uh, we're gonna pick up some tacos. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna get a little bean and cheese burrito also. And I'll go ahead and mix the numbers down here for you guys. That's what I made off of DoorDash. All the little different shifts I closed out. The reason why there's so many is because I was zone hopping today to try and, you know, give myself the best chance of shop and pays. I was hitting up all of my known locations of shop and pays and I was using a technique called trolling that the uh, big ships use or fishing ships use is they cast out a net and then they move slowly to, you know, scoop up all the fish. Well, I was trying to cast my net and scoop up whatever, you know, orders for shop and pays that I could possibly get. So I hope you guys appreciate today's video. I hope you guys appreciate all of the changes that are coming and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Take care of your guys' selves, be safe out there on the road and peace out. Since when did Del Taco do carne asada fries for $6? You can get their regular just chili cheese fries for the same price, but you can get all of this extra for, you know, $6. And I got a taco also. Whoa.